Welcome back to My Little Pony and Friends. Coated and her throat isn't red. She's awfully pale, but I don't know what's wrong. Neither do we. It's not like any illness we've ever had. Could, could it be magic? Magic, that's it. When magic's involved, the moochick is the one to see. I'll take you to him, Megan. Let's go. Just a minute, Megan. I'm coming with you. Me too. We'll all go with you, Megan. I'm coming too. Hop on, Spike. We'll be back soon, Mimic. Hold on. Hurry back! And good luck! There! All safe and sound! Gee, thanks! Wolves! Run for the Moochick's cottage! I've done it, haven't! Help! Open up! Whoever you are, go away! Go away! I'm busy! <laughs> I'm sorry, but this is an emergency. Wolves were after us. No, 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 no. That was my wolf. Oh, but it was supposed to scare you away. Oh, Mr. Moochick, Mimic is sick, and we think it's due to magic. What? She's lost her twinkle. Can you help her? Hmm. Well, I'm sure I have something about sick unicorns in a book somewhere. Aha! Yes, this book is the very one. Pony Legends and History. <clears throat> the Legend of the Four Golden Horseshoes. Yes, of course. Ah, Mimic is descended from this unicorn. Long ago, in the land of Argite, four horseshoes were made of mystical starlight. Yes, oh, they were placed on the hooves of this special unicorn. Now, each shoe gave her a magical power. My, my, my. The first showed the future. The second had the power of blazing light. The third made another's thought sound clear and loud. And the fourth let its wearer float like a cloud. <laughs> Deep in Dream Valley, the wind left her at dawn. And there she did stay, for her horseshoes were gone. That's all fascinating, Mr. Moochick, but what does it have to do with Mimic's illness? Well, my, my. Mimic is a direct descendant of that unicorn, and the magic of the shoes still flows in her veins. Over the years, the golden horseshoes have been carried farther and farther apart, and because of that, their magic is weakening. That's why Mimic is getting weaker. Where do we find the horseshoes? In the land of Skrira, it's said that the Skree gaze upon one to see what will be. Okay, we're going to Skrira. Now, while you hunt for the horseshoes, Habit and I will look after poor Mimic. Won't we, Habit? Here, child, this might prove of better use to you than me. Oh, 
Oh, now, dear, dear, dear. Well, let's see. I was about to turn yellow into blue, uh, I think. Oh, of course! Poor Mimic! Come along, have it! What are you wasting time for? All through the night, although it's frightening, even though it's lightning, we'll keep pressing forward. We'll keep pressing forward. All through the night, although it's scary, though it may get hairy, we'll keep moving toward our final destination. And furthermore, me. Keep on being brave all through the night. 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 Down there, that's Screera. If this is Screera, North Star, where are the Scree? They're all around us. <laughs> I bet five to one you'd come back, North Star. I want you all to meet Fleetfoot, leader of the Scree. And watcher of the Crescent of Visions. That was how I could predict North Star's return. Isn't that cheating? Scree's only bet on sure things. But the Crescent of Visions did not show why you returned. It's like this. You see, Mimic, one of the ponies, the crescent fell from the sky. It was a gift to the Scree. We cannot part with it. That's the horseshoe. But what can we do? Shh, I have an idea. Fleetfoot, I challenge you to a race. The winner gets the crescent. On one condition. If you lose, you become my servant forever. Done. Oh, poor Wind Whistler. She looks so embarrassed. <laughs> the Crescent never lies! It foretold that Fleetfoot would win! <laughs> of course! We scree only bet on sure things! Silly ponies! <laughs> so that's what's going on. Well, they won't get away with it. Oh, wolves! Scree! <laughs> Megan, what are you doing? They cheated. They knew Fleetfoot would win. And we need it for Mimic's sake. I say, these ninnies don't play fair. It's worth a try. Horseshoe of Visions, where is the Horseshoe of Light? That's Blarkland. I've been there. Great. Show us the way. So, you want the horseshoe to save your friend, correct? We blocks collect, keep, and trade junk and riddles. You have no junk, so tell me a riddle I don't know, and the horseshoe is yours. Thank you. That's very generous. Uh, why did the boy throw the alarm clock out the window? Because he wanted to see time fly. Tell me one I don't know. I have a riddle. What walks on four legs in the morning, two at midday, and three at sunset? Uh, a three-toed bullfrog? No, a dragon with goose flesh? Uh, a, a gyrating galumpadillo? I guess not. I give up. What? Humans like Megan. They crawl as babies, they walk as adults, and they use a cane for a third foot when they grow very old. <laughs> very good. Cracker, take them to the horseshoe. It's here. Uh, somewhere. We'll never find it in all this. Everyone, listen. This horseshoe has the power of light, so that's what we look for. You mean like the one by Cracker's foot? I'll get it out. <laughs> Uh-oh. Look out! You 
saved, Cracker. So I order a hole to be dug to the Goblin Tunnels. There you will find another horseshoe stolen a long time ago from the Blarks. Thank you for your help. No problem. You are all the Blarks' friends. Megan, look! The horseshoe is growing brighter. We must be nearing the third one. Now what have we here? Won't Ma be surprised? <laughs> Welcome back to My Little Pony and Friends. In our last episode, Megan rushed to Paradise Estate to help Mimic. Suspecting magic is the source of Mimic's illness, Megan flew to the Mushroom to seek the Moochick's help. The Moochick said Mimic was descended from a mystical unicorn who had four magic horseshoes. But a tornado scattered the horseshoes and their magic. Megan and her friends began to search for the fabled horseshoes. They found the first, which grants visions of the future, and the second, which gives off light. Then, entering the Goblin Tunnels in search of the third horseshoe, they come face to face with three goblins. <laughs> Everyone, run for it! <laughs> you pushed me, Bagger! No, you pushed me, Snagger! You both pushed me, and now you're stinking mean! Oh, tell my! <laughs> Everyone hide, quickly! Paradise, the horseshoe's illumination will reveal our place of concealment to the goblins. Perhaps you can wish it off. Oh, little ponies, we know you're here. Yeah, we can read your minds. You don't like us. You think we're ugly and mean. You're right. <laughs> oh, my! The goblins just caught North Star and Spike. They seem to intuit their precise locations. What? They knew where they were. I'm reading two more minds right over here. Ma's gonna be so proud of me. I got two and you guys only got one. And that's all there is. <laughs> I thought there was more. Dummy, we read their minds if there was. Let's go show Ma. If the goblins found everyone by reading their minds, why didn't they know we were here? Perhaps it's the horseshoes. They might cancel out the telepathic power of the goblins' horseshoe. Then we can follow them secretly. Come on! That's the 306th time of one today! <laughs> Look what we got, Ma! I got two and they only got one. So, wanna make something of it? <laughs> Both of you is stinking worse, sir. Who's been asking for it? Boys! I like all your presents. They'll make good little slaves. And we need slaves. But what would please me and your paw most would be if you would stop fighting! Yes, Ma. Sorry, Ma. It won't happen again, Ma. We'll be good. Why can't the three of you learn to get along? <laughs> We're friendly with the beasts, we're friendly with the snakes, so can't you three be friendly too? For heaven's sakes! For heaven's sakes! We're chummy with the wolves, we're cordial to the bees, why can't you three play nicely too? For mama, please! For mama, please! It's not my fault! Don't look at me! They're the ones who start! Uh-uh! Enough! Enough! No more rough stuff, you'll break your old mom! 
us hard. <laughs> We're friendly with the beasts. So someone tell me why. You little beasts must fight and scream and make your own ma cry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorryer. <laughs> I'm sorryest of all. No, you're not. <laughs> Excuse me, your sons fight because the magic horseshoe you wear lets them read each other's minds. If you free us, we'll take the horseshoe far away from here. Nonsense! Goblins don't give things away. Boys, Pa and I are going in the back to count our treasures. We don't want any more arguing, you hear? Yes, Ma! I wonder how Mimic is. It doesn't look like we can help her much now. I've done all that I can for her. I'm afraid it's not much. The only thing that can help her now is the horseshoe's magic. Well, why can't you make horseshoes for her? <gasps> I just might be able to, but it would take too long to return to my workshop. I'll take you, I'll take you. That's no problem, it's no problem at all. If any of us can get you there in time, it's me. I can get you home in a wink. I'm the fastest flyer here. Yes, I am, yes, I am. Then what are we waiting for? <laughs> It's Paradise and Wind Whistler. <laughs> hey, what's the big idea? Who do you think you're hitting? <laughs> oh, boy, are we glad to see you. The slaves are escaping! <laughs> see what your fighting has done? Keep going, Lofty. I'll catch up. I've been robbed! Ma, we're sorry, but we'll take it back. Oh, yeah, Ma, you'll be well. I promise, I promise, I promise. And I'm sorry I was hitting you guys. Yeah, I'm sorry I punched you in the face. Well, I'm sorry I was, you know, jumping up and down on your legs. Oh, forget the horseshoe, boys. We've got something better. We got our family spirit back. Bat's wings. Tale of Newt. Oh, 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 the magic involved is just too strong for me to control. Uh, now where do we go? According to the power of this horseshoe, the last one is near but up high. Look up there, on that high peak. I've been there. It's the home of the Green Mountain Elves. It's awfully high up. Do you think we can make it? The air's thin up there, but breathable. Let's go! I, I hope the others can make it. It's a long way down. <sighs> North Star, Wind Whistler, help! Air's too thin. I can't breathe. <sighs> Come on, we'll make it together. It doesn't look friendly. It was built to be deceiving. Warm welcome, Lofty, to you and your friends. I am Kara, Keeper of the Gate to the Mountain Elf Kingdom. What quest brings you here? We're looking for a magic horseshoe that can take you wherever you wish. We needed to save our friend's life. I'm sorry. It is not within my power to give it to you. It belongs to the child, Princess Maeve. And according to Elfin laws, no one may take anything from a child unless the child surrenders it willingly. May we ask Maeve for the horseshoe? Yes, I'll take you to her. <laughs> oh, come to play with Maeve? No, Maeve. This is Maeve, and she has a favor to ask of you. Ask! A unicorn is very sick. Your magic horseshoe is needed to cure her. Will you give it to us? No! Horseshoe maze! Fun to play with! Watch! Hey! Wait! Help! <gasps> See? Horseshoe make fun for me all day! Now we go under ocean for more fun! Uh, let's not. 
We've seen why you want the horseshoe. Now let's go to Dream Valley so you can see why we need the horseshoe. Okay, Dream Valley! <laughs> Here, Pony needs horseshoe more than Maeve. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Megan? Megan! We have all the horseshoes! Give them to me, quickly! <gasps> Mimic, are you better? All better, thank you all.